The Courier has been known not to post some of my blogs because of alleged libel concerns and the one I made today on the Castanardi case has been a bit slow in coming so I thought I'd uh, post this just in case. And Here's what I sent to the Courier uh, on the blog and also by email. Quotes. A recent New York Times article quoted national statistics showing that as few as 1 in 40 criminal cases ever go to trial, down from 1 in 5 in more recent years. The power of the prosecutors. According to the Courier, the central issue in this case was whether the city accepted the resignation plea of Dawn Castaneda or not. Without knowing any other facts, that is really rolling the dice as a defendant. So who knows what really happened here. From personal experience of winning a fraud case with a jury trial, what I can tell you is if you were ever in that position in a court, breathe a big sigh of relief if you're white and have a valid checkbook. Before jumping to hasty conclusions though, and for those bloggers who want to link cases around this situation, let's remember the city of Prescott has experience in rolling the dice in multi-act dramas legal dramas. March 11th, 1982, a young Hispanic female passenger, driven by a friend, drowns in a car downtown Prescott because the city failed to place barriers in washes during flooding. A young city prosecutor at the time springs into action and the surviving driver is quickly convicted of drunken driving. 18 months later, a wrongful death suit filed by the deceased family against the city hits the jury. On October the 4th, 1983, just before lunch, the plaintiff's case lasting weeks rests. After lunch, the city makes no defense, admits full liability, agrees to instigate wash closing procedures, pay $235,000 of damages to the family, plus separate damages, to the driver and undertakes to clear her driving and criminal record. Two years later, August uh, the 5th, 1985, court records show the city prosecutor, who declined comment yesterday by the way, is still writing to Judge Hancock explaining how clearing criminal records is not practicable. 